All right, we are at pickup number one. We're probably not going to make pickup number two today, so we'll probably have to go back to my brother's house for one more uh, uh, night. Check out those new tires. We only got new in the back. I've got brand new tires sitting at home waiting on us. And I figured we would be home in time for for that. And then we went with the uh, 12 ply Carlisles. Um, they cut me a really good deal on this. Yeah, they're only 12 ply, but I've had really good luck with Carlisle tires. Um, it's 12 ply, and I got those for 108 a piece. So I, if I had time to shop, discount tire never got back to me. So I, I don't know what the deal is with that. But we got uh, they actually they actually balance these too. I didn't even have to ask them, which is sweet. So uh, we're supposed to be picking up 40 feet of pipe here. Uh, I'm gonna have to move some of this stuff around, and they're not quite ready for us. Uh, the next pickup. Stops loading at 2.30. Right now is 1.30. Um, 1.48. Yeah, so I don't think we'll be making that next pickup. So we'll just uh, we'll just go back to my brother's for the night, leave in the morning. We'll go pick up that other one, then we'll drop this one. This one's um, 150 miles away, Roosevelt, Utah. So, all right, let me get this stuff ready. Check this out. He's getting ready to leave and I looked over. Hope this guy does a pre-trip. Because that tire. That tire has seen better days. Golly, that whole thing is blowing out. I bet he doesn't even know it's like that. That's wild. Alright. We're ready to go. We got our pre-trip done. Truck's loaded up. I think we got 30 minutes to go to this pickup and then we've got 150 miles to drop that off and then we're going to Colorado. And then we're gonna try to head home. Look at those mountains. All right, there's partial number two. This one, oh, you forgot a strap, Babs. Right there. 
This one's going to Colorado Springs and that one's going somewhere in Utah along the way. I think this is a thousand pounds, this one we just picked up and that other one's 1,400 pounds. But it is 40 feet, so you would need a 40 foot trailer for this one. A lot of times they'll put 40 feet on there and it won't actually be 40 feet. So I was actually surprised that this was actually 40 feet. And it was as light as it was. I figured 1,400 pounds is like, there's no way that's 40 feet. But that's it, we're just waiting on our paperwork and then we're going to head out. Several song-filled hours later. All right guys, we have arrived to drop off the big long pipes. Oh, you know what, I need my keys because I've got to undo that chain and move those tarps. And there, so we took 40 east over and we've been talking about maybe buying some land and putting a camper on it and it's like everybody out here has thought of that there's so many campers on land out here it's crazy oh dang we got a brake light that fell out look at that Ugh, that's quality quality trailer work right here there we go all right let me get this one strapped for him All right, we're strapped back down. I don't see anything else going from around here to Colorado. So it looks like we're gonna roll with this. I wonder if I should throw one more strap on them beams. All right, let's go. Well, we are on uh, Colorado 64. We have to take our 30 minute break. And I figured, what better place? Look how beautiful this is. Dang, I was hoping we could walk down to the water, but that's pretty steep. I don't know if we can get to the water, baby. No, he can't. Not from here, at least. I'd be able to walk down a little bit. Look at all them ducks.
Well, we are sitting in Rifle, Colorado. Because those pipes we dropped also had a box that we were supposed to give them. 